Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here. So, remember that previously I had a video where you can install and run Windows off of this uh, USB hard disk here. So, there's a there's an MEME SSD inside this uh, USB-C case. So, for those of you who want to know how to run Windows 10 or 11 off a USB drive, you can look at the video. I, I guess it's, it's at the side here. I'm going to put a card here. Okay? So right now, what, what happened was after that video uh, recently, I needed to, uh, I wanted to check whether these things were still working properly. So I was thinking, um, could I boot one of these up using Hyper-V instead of uh, plugging it into a machine and just uh, booting it into Windows? Maybe I, you need to get into something that's on the drive that you can only access when Windows is running instead of browsing through the VHDX. So uh, I went about taking a look to see how I can boot one of these things inside Hyper-V in another existing uh, Windows installation. And um, let's see how. Okay, so uh, here we go. This here is our USB drive with the with the VHD in so this is the drive where I have the previous Windows uh, 10 installed in the VHDX and uh, this is what we have to do to boot it as a Hyper-V under a host Windows system so go to this management and we're gonna find the USB drive so this is uh, all your drives on your system so we're gonna find a USB drive which is this one because that's where the F, F volume is. Right click on the disk and say turn it offline. So we must offline the disk so that the host OS cannot see it. And only the Hyper-V will be able to see it. <clears throat> Next we're going to go and say we're going to make a new virtual machine. And we'll say U, USB VHDX boot. VHDX boot and I'm just gonna put it into a different area use generation 2 <clears throat> assign some memory to it let's put 16 gig okay networking if you want internet so this is your pretty normal Hyper-V stuff now here when it comes to connect virtual hard disk don't connect one because we are gonna attach the USB drive onto the virtual machine and then we're done. Okay, so now that our virtual machine has been created, don't boot it up first. We're going to go into settings. We are going to say, <clears throat> click on this SCSI controller. We're going to add a new hard drive. And we're going to say, attach a physical hard disk. So this physical hard disk, this will be our USB drive. So you can see this note here. Okay, if it's not listed, make sure the disk is offline. So this is why we had to offline the USB drive previously. Okay, so now that our hard disk is attached to it, we'll say OK. And now we can start it. Oh yeah, the, the checkpoints problem. So the issue here is that because it's not using a VHDX, we can't actually support checkpoints. So we're going to say disable the checkpoints. And we'll start again. Okay, so now it's starting. Let's double click on it. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so now nothing has hap nothing is happening. Uh, we're just stuck at the boot screen here. Uh, but when you look at this message, this means that it's actually trying to boot via the via network. So maybe there's something to do with the boot order. So let's just stop it. And we're going to go into settings for this Hyper-V again. And then we are going to look at firmware. So you can see that in the boot order, the network adapter is actually at the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our hard drive up. Okay, so it's not like a physical machine where we can just press F2 and select the different boot, boot system. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. And uh, we're going to start again. 
And now you see, we are booting into the USB drive now. <clears throat> and of course, this is the usual thing when you connect into the virtual machine. So I'm just going to set 768. And there we go. Uh, okay, so this is just the usual uh, VH, uh, usual problem when you're trying to connect to the Hyper-V on Windows because, uh, I mean, it's just the usual problem with the Hyper-V. If you're used to using Hyper-V, you should know what, what is all those what is all those issues when you're trying to connect as the advanced integrated session. So, but here we are, we are booted into the USB drive. That's it. And now you can actually run whatever it is on the on the Windows installed in the USB inside Hyper-V. And you can, well, do whatever that you need to do. Even though you're not booting into it. <clears throat> yeah, this Docker is going to fail now because remember from my uh, docker from my docker videos i haven't set this hyper-v to allow uh, cascading uh, virtualization to allow a uh, virtualization into this virtual machine so we need to of course set that if we want to run all this wsl2 and uh, docker desktop on this virtual machine so yeah that's not related to running the usb in a high in a virtual machine okay so uh that's it that's just a quick guide to how to run your usb windows in a hyper-v virtual machine okay this is marauders i will see you all in the next video bye bye